Banner Knowledge Bowling, I'm Steve. We're back in the classroom and we're here to talk about our fourth topic, energy level at release. What do I mean by this? In previous videos, I've talked about the continuum theory, scale of one to 10, um, maybe zero to 100%, where are you? And I use that thinking with my release as well. So what do I mean? Well, while I'm competing, whether in league or at tournaments, I don't want to try to make adjustments. I don't want to think about a technique. I want an actionable thought process that I can implement and I want to do. When we practice, that's when we try stuff and we try to do new things. While we're competing, we want actionable thought processes so that we can do it. So for me, when I'm bowling, there are times when the lanes, let's say, are pretty tight, they're pretty oily, and I'm playing kind of a direct line. If I get a lot of speed on the ball, the ball may not go through those stages, skid hook roll properly. It may skid way too long and never slow down. So I don't want to try to throw the ball slower. I want to throw an athletic well-balanced release. So how do I do that? Well, I think of the energy level that I am letting go of that ball at. And when I'm coming through the bowling ball, um, maybe on a 0 to 100 scale, the hardest I can get through that ball is 100%. But in my example, I think I said the lanes were pretty oily, and I was playing a pretty direct line, and I wanted to throw the ball a little slower, but I don't want to throw it with less energy or less power. So in my mind, I rate where am I at with the energy level, the vigorousness, if you will, of my release. And if I feel like I'm at the higher end of that range, maybe 70, 80, maybe 90%, what I'm going to think in my mind is I want the energy level that I'm letting go with this ball to back that off and maybe make it 30%, maybe make it 40%. So I put that positive thought in my head, I'm going to throw this at 35%, let's say, and I'm going to go up and I'm going to throw the ball. And hopefully, what will result for you is when you think of that, you're going to come through it, you're going to be really nice to it at the bottom, and it's going to come out well-balanced in a good release position, have a lot of power, but be a little slower, a little softer off your hand. Let's go to the other end of that spectrum. Let's say the lanes are um, near the end of the tournament. A lot of oils come off the ball because of the play, and the ball's hooking a lot, and you want more energy on the ball. Then I think, what's my energy level through that release? And maybe I'm in that 30 40% range. Maybe I need to up that. Maybe I need to make that 50%, 60%, maybe 70%. So what I'm going to do mentally in my mind is I'm going to say, here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. And that's a positive, actionable thought, swing thought, that you're putting into your mind, your computer, so that when you get up on that next shot, you're going to throw this one at 70%. It's a positive action that can help you throw that ball with a little more vigor and get through that ball maybe with a little more speed. What I encourage you to do is in your practice, start trying to rate the 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 vigorousness for lack of a better term of where you're releasing the ball and say you're at 60 percent i want you to try to go down to 30 percent 20 percent 40 percent everyone's going to be a little bit different but the point is can you move in that direction and when you do what happens does the ball hook more skid more does it get in the roll stage sooner or later make note of that and then go back to where you were and then say, can I do that more vigorously? Can I go from 60 from where I was? Maybe I can get to 70%, 80%, 90%. And when you do that, what happens? What happens to the ball roll? Is it skidding longer? Is it hooking more? What's the shape of the ball? And all of those adjustments that are happening, when you get comfortable adding and subtracting from where, you, where you're at, you're going to have more tools in your toolbox to help you create different motions, different looks on the lanes, and hopefully that translates into you uh, being able to strike more and being able to make quicker adjustments. 
you know, the continuum type theory works for everything. Um, if you feel like your feet are slow, rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm, I'm going at, you know, a 4 or I'm going at 40%. Say, I'm going to make my feet go 60%. Don't think I'm going to go fast. Think I'm going to make my feet go at 60%. It's a positive, actionable item that you can take and you can easily implement that. Using that with the release and the vigor vigorousness of the release, I feel is a great adjustment. I use it all the time. So if I know I'm in a pressure situation and I'm feeling nervous like we all do and you get the, get the little bit of adrenaline going on, think about your energy level. Where do you want to be at? Put an actionable item in your head and you'll be surprised when you practice this how it will translate directly to your game. I highly encourage it. Hope this was helpful. Questions, please put them in the comment section, and we'll be back in the classroom soon. Thanks a lot.